Hi, Ron here from Mr. Tig Military Models. Welcome to my video on 135 scale figure and face painting tutorial using an airbrush and paintbrush with acrylic paint. I've used Mini Art Figure and Vallejo and AK paints. Paints from the NCO US Infantry Europe 1944 to 1945. I've also used Tamiya and Vallejo brushes, an Iwata airbrush and cleaner. The 135 scale figure included decals that came with the Mini Art US Jeep Crew and MP World War II military miniature series. Tamiya weathering master pigments. I also use Retarder and Airbrush Finner. Using an airbrush, a base coat is sprayed on. I like to clean my airbrush out after each colour. I remove the majority of paint with a tissue and then using a water airbrush cleaner, several stages using a cotton tip and flowing back into a storage jar, reverse flow and ready for the next. Camo masking putty is used to protect the painted surface ready for the next colour. Vallejo buff and thinner were then used to airbrush the jacket and the gaiters mixed to a milky consistency using a paintbrush. MIG Olive Drab Light Base was used for the helmet. Vallejo Basic Skin Tone was airbrushed as a base layer for the face. For a wet palette I usually use a discarded container, dishcloth and parchment paper. For this one, I'm trying a new purchase or product. Very fine Tamiya and Vallejo paintbrushes are used, as this is 135 scale. Over the base colour, I use for shadows the beige brown and add the darker colour. These are mixed together, and with some thinner, the shadows are applied. For the highlights, I use the base colour plus Iraqi sand. To blend the shadows and highlights, I mix the base colour with some thinner and this is applied at like a wash over the area that's been painted.
The jacket is completed using the same process as the trousers. The base tone is added to a darker tone to do shadows. Dick Tan is added to the base tone for the highlights. Thinner is then added to the jacket base colour and again a wash applied over the top to blend colours together. Brass from AK's metallic set was used for the whistle and it was washed over with German black. I used the decals that came with the mini art set. They went on really well. First I applied gloss varnish from Vallejo and used Mark Fit to ensure proper fit. The hands were then painted using references and Vallejo paints, orange brown and skin tone, mixed with thinner. Brown rose and beige red from AK were also used to give the hands a warmer tone. I used the mini art head that came with the kit, although I could have swapped it for a hornet head. The eyes were painted first, using white and then black line across the top. References were also used. I initially chose grey as the iris colour, but later changed my mind as it didn't stand out enough on the 135 scale figure. Beige brown was used around the eyes and also to correct any imperfections with the initial painting. I went back to using my original wet palette as I found the paints were drying out too quickly on the purchased one. The darker face tone was painted on top of the head to the side of the face, side of the nose, under the lip and on the neck. After painting the lips and nostrils, highlights were added to the forehead, nose, cheeks, ear tips and a circle around the mouth with an emphasis on the chin. The same process to blend the colours was used as with the uniform. 
using either retarder or airbrush thinner to blend together. Clear matte was then sprayed over the entire figure. Finishing touches include removing the lip highlight, a darker edge on the whistle chain, using gunmetal paint and Tamiya pigments to add extra highlights and shadows. A helmet strap was also added. <laughs> 